Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! <laughs> Off to space. What is up guys, Euclid back here with you again and welcome back to Halo Reach. When last we left off, we had just finished Tip of the Spear with the two massive armies between the UNSC and the Covenant clashing. And now we'll be moving on to the next level. Let's get that intro per our usual. Back to campaign. We are moving on to the next mission, which is Long Night of Solace. Mission start. Yes. Long Night of Solace is really interesting because it actually takes us to space where we actually get to use a fighter in space. So let's go ahead and jump into that. Our last mission was really fun because of the open scale on the battle. I've said it a million times, but I'll say it once again. I really wish we could have been in the middle of that battle on Tip of the Spear. But it wasn't our goal. So this beginning's pretty cool. It starts to give you that feeling of uh, desperation. Our there. foe is more devious than we imagined. That spire was indeed a teleporter linked to a cloaked Covenant supercarrier. A grave threat. Thankfully, help is imminent. 60% of the UNSC fleet is en route to reach from existing deployments. The first battle group should arrive within 48 <sighs> hours. 48 hours? That's imminent? <sighs> Uh-oh. Who's your money on this time? Her. You always her. pick her. Hmm. She's always had him dialed in. Yeah. That thing's crushing us and we're waiting for backup. They'll be backing up a graveyard. All our nukes are either out system or went down with the ships that carried them. You're preaching to the converted. How converted? I know that look, Kat. You can say no. No. You don't even want to hear it? <laughs> Fine, I'll hear it. Remember that accident a couple of years back? Colony ship en route to Cygnus, 700 dead. Vaguely a slip space drive malfunction, right? Actually, it worked fine. The drive was mounted improperly after a service haulout. When it fired, it teleported half the ship to oblivion. And this is relevant. How? A certain Covenant supercarrier could, with some assistance, suffer the same unfortunate accident. Even for you, Cat, that's. Inspired? Not the word I would use. What's going on? Go ahead. Explain. May I? Don't cut yourself. Objective? Destroy Covenant Carrier in geosynchronous orbit above us. This sanction, sir. What do you think? Oh. Method? A slip space drive in lieu of the nukes we don't have. Delivery system? Us. Solvable? Getting us up there. That and getting our hands on a slip space drive. Thank you for sharing. So, <laughs> all we need is orbit-capable transport and the single most expensive piece of equipment made by man. As a soldier in the field, I couldn't possibly have access to those kinds of resources. That said, a good place to look might be, I don't know, the nearest non-existent launch site in the non-existent Sabre program dismissed by three administrations as preposterous rumor, and in which our newest member was certainly never a pilot. It's scary. You know that. All we need is a green light from Holland. Good luck with that. You're the one asking him. Huh? Jesus Christ. Well, there's no way in hell he's gonna go for this. I always loved having my own, your own Spartan in the background. Dealing with everything. Saber program launch research range. Farkas Lake himself. This part's pretty cool. Witnessing the uh, advance. I'm gonna do something in this in this part that might annoy some of you. I just want to show you something cool that you can do on this level if you like attacking and defending. Okay. Bit of a hike to the launch facility. Any closer is too hot to land. Could be that, Commander. Move up the beach, Noble. I do like the cutscenes in the beginning as well. And you can see the seraphs and spirits, I believe it is. Yeah. Flying into, uh, flying into orbit, getting closer to the planet. And when you see these uh, rounds flying in the air that are obviously UNSC armament. Launch facility, dead ahead. 
Oh, hello. Okay. This is where the pods start getting different. All right, Ultra Down. That Ultra's got a pretty nasty weapon. No, he doesn't. Standard Plasma Rifle. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Screen is so shaky. I love it, how some of them get shot down out of the sky. You can see the turrets firing as best as they can. There's another turret over there, but you can't quite see it. And another good part is there are Marines defending the facility. Oh shit! Shit! <laughs> oh, every time! Sweet Jesus. Alright. It's another reason, though, why I love this part. Ow! That's a wraith. We're not going that way right yet. All right, up we go with our team. We're just like, I don't die. Everybody you, buddy. More hostiles on the way. Inside six, let's go. Spartans coming in. Aha! Here's the part I wanted to show you guys. You like attacking and defending? This may be just the part for you. They drop a bunch of Marines off. And those very Marines try to defend. Inside now, we gotta seal this entrance. Now the Covenant will continue to bring in forces to fight these guys, but I have to say that I had a hell of a fun time just sitting here and helping these marines defend the entrance. If I'm not mistaken, also, get ammo pretty much from anywhere. Hmm. I'm pretty sure these marines are gonna die. Take out this race. Clock's ticking, Spartans. We need to keep pushing to flight control. I think you can still punch it out, the wraith in the back of this. 
Well, that wouldn't have happened in three, I don't think, but in Reach, it sure does. There's your proof. Everybody inside. More hostiles on the way. Inside six. Let's go. Spartans coming in. Watch your fire. Isn't there a weapon over here? Nope. Could have sworn that some of the troops that they drop off, these Marines that get dropped off. Retreat. Go in. I love it. They can defend against one of Inside, those. Inside now, we gotta seal this entrance. Right down. And as soon as that threat's done, these Marines just kind of return to their position. Which is great! But this part's really fun because the Covenant will keep on dropping off forces to fight your Marines. So if you don't want to go inside yet, there's another purpose for you, sir. Help defend the base. Of course, Carter and them will bitch at you, but this is something I really love. That's something about Halo that I always felt was lacking until Custom Edition and people started doing their own thing. As soon as you kill the last enemy, at least of all the ones that happen you know, to be there. Then more, more spirits bring in enemy reinforcements. And our Marines on the far side here most likely died. Oh! Some Marines up top here? Probably, yeah, they got killed. The noble takes positions up here. But the spirits never stop coming. They keep bringing reinforcements. But that's not the only thing that happens. As soon as your forces die, if I'm not mistaken, And then the UNSC brings in more reinforcements. Via heavily armed. And then the next wave of Marines that comes in are armed with rockets and shotguns. It's ridiculous. I know my narration's probably got awful. Elite down. Oh boy. I'm just telling you, I'm pretty sure it never stops. I'm pretty sure the NPCs will keep coming, both reinforcements and enemies. There you go. There you go. Arming them with the rockets and just defending this as long as you can. I'm not going to do that because I know you guys want me to progress to this level. Because we've got a lot more level to go anyways. But I have to say, that's got to be one of my favorite aspects of this level. is just the constant allied reinforcements and enemy reinforcements that will flow in to defend this base while you're here. Light controls this way. They're expecting you. Oh, hello. Still can't believe Holland said yes to this. 
Some plans are too good to say no. Let's get that saber airborne before we This brings back fire. memories of Halo Control 2. Right that door, Commander. Like early concept Halo 2. I love it. This part's good too. Part is awesome. Once you get in here, shit is just bad. You find tons of dead enemies or dead allies. And you're like, whoa, who killed all these people? That's all you ask yourself. You get deeper into the facility, come to find out it wasn't a bunch of enemies. Look how many dead allies there are. You push deeper in here, you find them everywhere, you're like, man, who killed all these people? Is this open? No. But yeah, once you push down here enough, then you find the cause of uh, all the deaths. And it was an ultra with a sword. I got a weakness for the sword, but for your Spartan fans, I'll play with this. I just thought it was awesome, because it's like, who killed all these? And it was that one ultra with the sword. There you go, there's the saber. I just love that part, you get into this command post and find all these devastated allies. It's just ridiculous. Alrighty, let's move on and go to space. I'm just a passenger on this leg. Launch team. Off to Sabers space. And ready for launch. You can hear the guns on the outside defending. This is a multiplayer level as well. Can I defend from this part? Oh my god, there are NPCs out here defending. This is a multiplayer level after all. Love it. I do like these Marines in their own right, don't get me wrong. But I just prefer the CE. The final CE models are amazing. Animations of some of the guns, like where he hits that way and then throws the gun up and catches it. Those were cool little mentions in the game, cool little differences, I should say. This is also a fun multiplayer level. Here we go. Fall down, there definitely is a way back up. Conduits. It almost feels like we're back in the Pillar of Autumn. All these personnel just wandering and gallivanting around. Here we go, guys. Off to space. I just feel so good to see your Spartan sitting in that seat. This part is awesome. This is probably going to be a pretty long uh, Let's Play episode. But I had to show you guys that because it's so fun to just defend with Marines and hold off unlimited waves of enemies. George is in the back seat, which is hilarious because he's huge. There's no way these things would be built for someone his size. <laughs> Which I'm sure in the future they would accommodate larger pilots more so. Oh, that's awesome. Stage separation in three, two, one. Stage separation. That is so cool. 
I really like that part because you knew you were in space in the atmosphere just right outside of you know your normal atmosphere to earth just all the different things about that in my mind it was amazing and all the camera uh, points of views and reach that's another thing I was a big fan of like I said there were some things like phenotypes of Sanhili and the fact that they were limited to invasion game types and elite slayer so dank like having the two models and multiplayer to gavel to gavel multiplayer to gavel having them all to Ah, oh, yes, the Saber. Global actual, the Saber Bravo 029 or over. Copy actual. Come on it. Affirmative, Noble 5. Welcome to Operation Uppercut. I'll be your control from here on out. Understood, Colonel. Noble 6, these Sabres have been customized for orbital defense. You may need to get reacquainted. Rendezvous at Anchor 9 with Frigate Span. I love it. Other sabers as soon as you're ready. Holland out. <laughs> the missiles in the saber were always so fun. Multiple unidentified contacts. Savannah actual to saber teams. Be advised, we have bogeys inbound. Anchor 9 to all UNSC ships. Station defenses are down. Requesting combat support until we can bring them back online. Here we go. Six. UNSC Savannah. Alrighty. Twenty rounds on target. Defensive batteries are at fifty-six percent. Hang in there, saber teams. All right. These are the space, the banshees that were built more so for space combat. It's really easy to take them out because you have an auto, an auto aim feature that helps you a little bit. Take a shot. But I have to say, it's more satisfying to take them out with missiles. <laughs> Love it! And the way the missiles take off. This was such a weird concept for Halo, because we had never really seen it. Nice hit. Oh no! Love how it hits that and it just sends it flying. Rounds away! <laughs> Missiles. Ahoy. Missiles ahoy! There we go. Oh, so weird. Leave it a tree! Ha ha ha! You just can't yeah, help but love. Anchor Niner to UNSC ships. Impulse drive signatures detected. Fighter class. Heads up, Sabres. Seraphs. The Seraph is all over me. Saber teams, use your guns to take down their shields. Then they hit them with your missiles. Taking the shot. Defensive batteries at 79%. Fight yes! Take teams. them down. Hunt them down. Matriox would say. Missiles away! You know your way around a saber. <laughs> it's actually been a long time since I played this mission. Missiles away! Enemy down. I would have loved to fly the Seraph from Cesar Rufami's hangar. <laughs> nice, nice. Enemy died. All craft in the vicinity. Be advised, we show a large attack force inbound. Combat air patrol and saber teams uh, are directed to engage do it. the station. Is there any place the Covenant isn't? Anchor 9 to all UNSC ships. Station defenses are back online. Clear the lane. We'll light them up. I know there's any phantoms that show up, too. Get me crap down!
<laughs> Love the missiles. Oh, yeah! There we go. And the station's defenses fighting above space with that reach in the background, just with the planets. Just the art from this game. I really liked the art from Reach. A lot of people didn't. Someone get this damn thing off of me! Where? Where are you? Taking the shot. Taking shots from that banshee. Misses away. Seraph will be down soon. Missiles on everything. Taking shots from that banshee. I'm getting hammered. Haha. <laughs> and there was something about this thing that just made you feel awesome. To be in like the closest thing that Halo's ever let you fly in relation to like an F-16. You know, a really fast jet, just cold hard metal and steel and jet fuel and oh. High-value gunboat targets now. On your six. In my sights. Oh shit! I don't think the gravity would work that way, but it's a wonderful space ballet we have going on here. One hot. Here we go. Anchor nine to all UNSC fighters. Multiple inbound phantoms headed straight for our defensive batteries. Saber teams were marking high value gunboat targets now. Firing. Good hunting. Enemy fighter down. All right, okay. phantom. Woo! We're really getting messed up. All right. On target. Okay, down and out. They're just really trying to focus on you. I can't see the other phantom. They ran away for now. Anchor Niner to UNSC ships. All targets neutralized. Bravo 02 Niner, you are clear to dock. Activating marker. Holland to Bravo 02 Niner. Noble 5, you ready to go? Affirmative, Colonel. Dock with Anchor 9. This level's too cool. Alrighty. Would you just fly to it? You don't actually have to dock. And then the next cutscene takes here, over. Six. Warning, M-Spec reentry pack disengaged. I need your override. Warning, M-Spec reentry. Cockpit depressurization complete. The sabers, man. Armed. I also like how all the other sabers were just piloted by good pilots. That's it. And most likely ones that were selected for it, if not in reserve for it, because this is a program that was supposed to not exist. The Sabres are extremely expensive fighters. Noble 5, please repeat. Pull up surface grid 19 by 22. Gladly. Only sword base, 
set to 18G. Verbal enhance. Noble 5, your pulse is elevated. There is nothing you can do for Dr. Wolsey and the others inside Sword Base. The mathematics are determinate. Noble 5? I know. Bravo, United and cleared to re-engage thrusters. Noble 6, this is Holland. Go ahead, Colonel. We've flagged a Corvette-class vessel on a predicted docking track with our target. Get our makeshift bomb on that Corvette, and we have our delivery system. Noble 5 will escort the bomb. I need your Sabre team to clear the way for boarding. Understood, Colonel. As she's already donated her slip space drive to the cause, the Savannah will be joining you to provide local fire support. UNSC Savannah, our wings may be clipped, but we've got your back. I've stuck my neck out for Noble on this one, Lieutenant. We'll get it done, Colonel. Six out. It's six is kind of your meh voice, but it's more important as he's kind of an anomaly in Halo. He has no origin, really. I really wish he had more of a story. I, I'd want to hear more as to why he was revered as such a lonely, hyper lethal and all. Corvettes look awesome. We have visual. Target confirmed. Battle group ready. I love how the Savannah and the Corvette go to battle. Frigate Savannah in position. Saber team, sound off. Echo one, all systems nominal. Echo two, good to go. And there's the uh, Echo CSO. Three, Echo four, all systems online. Solid copy. We are currently jamming the Corvette's comms. Hit it hard while it can't call for help. Agreed. Saber teams, clear a path to that Corvette. Rock and roll. Take a shot. Might want to clip her engines, Colonel. See if we can slow her down. Good thinking, Savannah. That'll make boarding her a whole lot easier. Noble 6, I'm marking targets. Take out the Corvette's main engines. Alrighty. Time to hit him with some missiles. Weapons free. Alright. Such an awesome fighter. That's another for me. <laughs> it was a fun fighter to pilot, honestly. Heads up, Sabers. Multiple impulse drive signatures detected. More bogies incoming. Echo 2 to Savannah Actual. Where are the reinforcements coming from? I thought the target was jammed. Oh, he dropped. Must be squadrons coming back from patrol, Echo 2. Don't let any of them get away, Sabers. Kill them before they bug out and point that super carrier one more up to. Warning. Energy flares detected in the Corvette's half launch base. Here we go. It's another for me. Misses away. Putting rounds and your on AI target. pilots are actually pretty reliable in this game. This part's awesome, though. Because if you actually pay attention, the Savannah and the Corvette are basically circling each other like a couple of nasty monsters. That was fucking insane. Weapons hot! <laughs> I got one! Yeah, really, I'm gonna zoom out. Oh, he's trying to hit me with his arm in it, for sure. Taking a shot. Nice hands. Here we go. Dot, analyze all available data on that Corvette. Find a way inside. It's awesome. Scans indicate a structural weakness surrounding a platform on top of the vessel. Oh, the poor Savannah. Noble six, set down immediately on that Corvette's topside landing pad. The Savannah and the Corvette were kind of a match for each other, but the Corvette's got heavier arm in it. Covenant just had the natural advantage because of their shield technology. 
What's even crazier about this part is the pilots actually get out and help you. That part always blows my mind a little. It's awesome. Noble Six, the Savannah's countermeasures won't work forever. Find a way inside and permanently disable that cruiser's communications. As soon as we're sure the Corvette can't squawk, we'll initiate uppercut phase two. All right. Oh yeah. Hollinger Savannah. Enemy comm relay is now offline. Copy that. Halting countermeasures, diverting all power and personnel to weapons. All right, Noble. Let's get that slip space bomb on board. Six, head for the hangar. Oh man. It's brutal. Oh, fuck! I forgot about that part. Can't remember who's shooting me. Fuck, I knew I was gonna die every single time. Oh, those rangers are badass. But busting through that initial door where the reinforcements are. Affirmative. On approach. Thank God. That's a really nasty enemy down. Okay. I hate to kill the engineers, the Huragakar. In my book. I'm willing to get bet that one of my allies died up here. Did they all survive? Those familiar Covenant energy sounds. Need a rifle, which I love. And I think they bring more reinforcements in if you do this. The fact that these pilots made it so far is pretty impressive too. They usually die by this point. All right, bringing the pelican in. Savannah, 
is firing. Oh, it's heavy turrets. God, I love it. But I wanted to see hundreds of those. So badly. Body kick is aboard, Colonel. Copy that. Six, get your fire team to the bridge. The Corvette's refueling run with the supercarrier will have to be initiated manually. Yes, sir. Five, stay with the bomb and discourage the curious. My pleasure. Hear that, Lieutenant? I'll be all by my lonesome back here. Make it quick, would you? <laughs> Re-entry unit. Noble Six, get that Corvette moving toward the supercarrier. Head for the bridge. Find the nav controls. <laughs> Got plenty of arms and ammo if you need them, Spartan. Oh boy, game being weird. Savannah to Holland, sustaining major structural damage. We need to break off, Colonel. Copy, Savannah. Our team is in. Disengage. This is the part where you run down and you see Savannah get fucked up, if I'm not mistaken. Break off! Break off! Hull breach! Reactor's flaring! Damn it, I'm losing her! Here we go. And I don't think you can save the Savannah like it's been tried hundreds of times. I like to run ahead. Oh, I can't wait to play Halo OG. <laughs> That's going to be the best Let's Play of all time. In my opinion. Oh, fuck. A grunt shot me in the back of this plasma pistol. We are on the bridge of the ship after all. Oh no, stay alive long enough. Oh, my squad mates alive? Lieutenant, put that Corvette on I don't think they all made it. Yes, they did. They all made it. Oh my fucking god, that's awesome. Well done, Noble Six. There we go. Initiated. Corvette is underway. Six, our ride out of here is taking heavy fire. Get back to the hangar. My goal was to always keep. Oh, you guys are so dumb. Using all Covey weapons right now. I just don't want them to die. I try to keep my allies alive. That you heard is convenience, level six. Yeah, he felt that one. 
God, I love all the, uh, all the fucking, the monologue going on here, the audio, like, the way they're all talking and saying their own things. things. Hello. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, good of you to come. I'll start the pounding the hell out of a pelican. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello. What do I want? Ooh, friendly. How's it feel, you ass? Gah, punch to the first. Strike to the first. Get him, George. Ha <laughs> ha. Woo! Oh shit! Punch. All right. Yes. Glorious. I'll let the squad eat him alive. Fuck. Homeboy up there staying alive. Oh, you bitch! Oh yeah, we traded punches. That was pretty gnarly. Is there more medkits over here? I hope so. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh, fuck! Oh my god, that was nuts! These are brutal. They slaughter all your marines when they show up. Those explosives help. Oh, fuck, he got me again! That's a lot of ultras, we gotta take him out quick! Get that DMR! Jesus Christ, they attack so fucking quick! That's the one thing about the newer games that I don't like, is how super quick the hunters and the elites and just everything is really. Laying down heavy fire. <gasps> oh man, you dickhead! 
Dude, I'm getting my ass beat so bad in this part. Oh, no! Do, 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 do. I'm super accurate while I run. Bullshit. Fuck you! I hate that the shots follow you, though. That is total bullshit, and you know it. That is the difficulty saying, hey, let's give this the enemies an unfair advantage. <laughs> I know I took him with me. Yeah, you bitch. You suck on it. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try staying back. Oh, you fucking prick. Oh, they pissed me off. I'm just gonna unload on them. I not feel you, dickhead. Keep it up. I'm good all the time. There we go. Oh yeah, he's afraid now. How you guys are alive, I'll never know. Savannah did a number on the door. There's no way back up to the sables. That was six. Form up on me. Oh shit. Hey, we somehow defended it all. God, that was rough, this dude. Is closing on this oh launcher, no! The super I remember this part like it was yesterday. Oh, damn it! So, it's gonna be like that. Oh, that well, sucks, dude. I've got good news and bad news. This bird took some fire and I thrust a gimbal is toast, which means the only way off this slag heap is gravity. And the good news? That was the good news. At current velocity, 53 seconds to end Yeah, point. yeah, yeah. Bad news is, time is fried. I'm gonna have to fire it manually. That's a one-way trip. We all make it sooner or later. Better get going, because they're gonna need you down there. Listen, Reach has been good to me. Time has come to return the favor. Don't deny me this. Tell him to make it count. All that part, I knew. I just knew immediately. I was like, fuck. And I hated it. Part is awesome. A lot of people like to say that George died for nothing. But I mean, he didn't die for nothing. That's a, that's a lot of Covenant killed right there. That's, that's pretty much, you know, half. If not a good, healthy, a little bit over a third of the ship Six taken completely out. Ambassy control, reading multiple pings below the orbital. This part's Six incredible. Space yeah, we're picking up anomalies too. Are you reading this? Fall of Reach. That part's just fucking crazy. 
as soon as that ship went down, they just, they were done fucking around. Well, guys, that was Long Night of Solace. That was a level that I care about dearly. Next up is Exodus. And Exodus will be taking us off to, I believe, Alexandria or New Alexandria. And it is a really cool mission where we're basically trying to get people out of the main, out of basically one of the main capital cities on, uh, one of the main capital cities on Reach, and it's really interesting. It's also the first mission, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think I am, where we actually see the Jural Hane in Reach again. I'm not a big fan of the Jural Hane in Reach. The only ones that even look remotely okay are like chieftains, high-ranking ones, but they look so goofy. I think the elites look bad. The brutes are the worst-looking covenant in Reach. So, I don't know. I just didn't see a point changing them because Halo 2's brutes were perfect. They were slow. They can move fast when they're pissed, they were thick, they were tough, the elites, I mean, everything about Halo 2 was awesome. 3 didn't do a bad job, and even 3's brutes were better, I feel like. But then Reach's brutes, they're just strange. The only ones that really, you know, you, you, had the, you had the chieftains that were still similar to 3's. But anyways, yes, Long Night of Solace, a very interesting mission where we actually went and fought in space. Something that never really happened in Halo as far as the first person slash third person's perspective came along. So guys, if you liked the video, feel free to hit like. If you did not, leave a dislike, but also leave a reason why I asked to be critiqued. And I hope you guys will continue to do that for me because it shows that you guys care and support is awesome. And if you want to see more videos like this and others in the future, feel free to hit that subscribe button below and above the comments. And also feel free to turn on that notifications bell located beside the subscribe button as well. But until next time, guys, this has been Halo Reach. I can't wait to start with Exodus. I'll probably record that one tomorrow. I'm going to do one episode for now and probably finish editing it later tonight because I'm going to go spend some time with my friends tonight. But, guys, I appreciate your support. We're growing. I believe I'm up to 966 subscribers now. We're getting through close to 1,000, which will get me out of the doom, you know, out of the doomed pit of um, demonetized channels, which is good because my views are good enough. It's just my subscriber count's not quite 1,000 yet. But we're almost there. We've almost reached 1,000 subscribers. So I really appreciate your all support. And sorry in the absence between this and the last Reach Let's Play. I've been kind of busy. So, but I'm happy to say that I'm actually about to have a better job and I can quit this shit job where I'm working six days a week, six hours a day, which is a complete ripoff of your time anyways. So until next time, guys, this has been Halo Reach. Next up, we'll be playing Exodus on Heroic. <coughs> I'm dying. I am Euclid, and I will see all of you Sanhili, all of you Spartans, and all things in between in the next video.